everyone this is asm arif welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial i'll today do uh, portrait editing uh, with the skin retouch and the cinematic effect and the uh, camera raw uh, filter using okay let's start i'm going to the file and then open and here is my stock download image i'll give you the download image link in my video description menu the guitar that's the extract here i'll just extract here okay this is the omen and just opening it up okay this is the image uh, but this image is not uh, too much um, not just uh, shiny or something it's raw image that's why I like that but i want to make it more uh, attractive you know that okay let's make a copy of this one by pressing ctrl j and make another two copy as usual i'll do the dodge and burn options and i'm turning off the copy two and just selecting this one copy and make it skin blending mode in skin and just hit the right button and go to the blending options and just slide the slider and press alter to divide the slider and just slide and adjust with that okay okay that's good okay you can just uh, reduce the opacity and hit the ok button after that turn on the copy two and then make it multiply after that go to the blending options and just slide like that find out the shadow options and just press the alter button and just divide this one okay and you can just give the fill opacity like that and hit the ok button and just mask this one pvs one and go to the at first turn it off and uh, mask this one and go to the image and the apply image okay and then mask another one and image and apply image image just invert this one and hit the ok button and just make a group of these two layers make it mask and then go to the image and apply image and just hit ok okay the difference between the previous and the present one um this uh, uh, difference is small but uh, you can just get the change of shadow and highlight the touch and burn options and make a group of these two layers and make it merge and go to the filter and camera filter if you have no camera filter you have to install it manually or you can update your photoshop to cc version uh, you'll get automatically camera raw filter in the creative cloud or cc version okay just uh, i'm just reducing the highlight and making it like cool and give some shadow add some whites and add some reduce some blacks give some clarity and three variance and saturation three and then i'm going to the camera calibration make it minus 36 and make it the saturation 17 reduce the rate of the saturation rate primary rate saturation and okay after that go to the effect and add some vignette over there and add some shed just a sharpening amount and luminance also okay go to the hsl options decrease the rate increase the saturation decrease the saturation of orange and increase the luminance of orange a little bit and make the blue down luminance and saturation and give some aqua and hit the ok button okay let's see the change of applying the camera raw okay this one is our previous one and the present one okay after that i'll add a extra light which is just coming from the right side right top and just uh, in a face just again 
take a new blank layer and go to the brush and take the brush which one is the first one and make it white if uh, you want to reset this one please place here and just make it white and just opacity 100% flow 100% just click once and press T for transform and just make it bigger like that and hit the OK button after that go to the adjustment layer and color lookup add the color lookup horror blue and make it soft light after making soft light just reduce the opacity and then and then select this light layer and go to the file and place embedded I'll place embedded uh, some lights which is uh, uh, light of uh, the bokeh you know that and just hit ok and make it a skin and you can move this one press ctrl T and just make like that hit the ok options and after that you can increase the color lookups opacity a little bit and it will give you more in a dramatic feel on your image okay that's good and you can just mask this area now which is just covered the face make it mask and make it black and then take a brush and just reduce a little bit like that that's good that sounds good and after that make a group of these layers and make it merge and go to the filter and then the nick collection and color effects pro nick collection color effects pro uh, google nick collection is a plugin so you can download it i'll give you the download link in my video description don't forget to check it out and one thing is that if you have no high configuration pc then don't use this plugin uh, because of uh, it needs a huge um, uh, RAM or the processor speed uh, otherwise it will make your PC slow okay I am using the cross process filter and here is lots of another filters and you can apply filters from here the warm filter and the cool filter this one is a warm filter and cool filter I mean I want to use a cool filter okay maybe this one or this one is good and hit the ok button it will take time uh, again I am telling you if you want to use the Google Nick collection plugins your PC configuration should be high otherwise it will work slow ok it's saving and it's taking time ok after applying that our image is almost ready let's see what was the previous one this one the raw image and then after using the effect the extra light bokeh and the shadow highlighting all the things this one is our output if you want to make it more natural you have to go the adjustment layer and the levels here is a level panel and you can adjust the light from here if you want to make it more realistic okay that's good and make the group of these two layers and make it match okay this one is our previous image and the present image thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial don't forget to share with your friend and don't forget to subscribe and if you have any kind of question please do comment on my video comment section till the next video i am asmarif signing out and bye bye